servant have had an opportunity to give service to Kenya for the purpose of getting a better quality of life for all Kenyans as indicated in Vision 2030. Therefore, we will support you when you need us, and I can assure you the team that I'm leaving behind is a very strong team that should give you comfort so that you have you don't have sleepless nights. Because if you have sleepless nights, then you will not be able to support the second the president, and we want you to succeed. We are also told in the leadership, if you exit a leadership and somebody else comes, and that leadership fails, then I was a bad leader. Are we together? Yes. So I, I, I am very concerned and interested in success of CS uh, Aisha Jumo, yeah. so that it is part of my success, because I've given her the battle. So as she moves on, she will be building on that block, and whoever else she will give, this country will be a better country. Therefore, I want to stop here and wish you all the best, and the God's blessings, and also the PSs who are with me, I wish you well. And if you survive, <laughs> <laughs> we leave that to God. God I want, I want person to be. God will always put you where He wants you to be, not where you want to be, where He wants you to be. So my PSs, four of them. My heart goes out for you, and I hope you will find space somewhere. Even if you don't find the space, you will never, you never, you have thank God for the opportunity you have to serve and look forward. Uh, a, a lot of people, when you get to see us and PSS, if you come from the streets, yes. you are good. You should be able to go and serve. So long as the, the burden is out of service, yeah. you will find space. So thank you very much, and I want to wish you all the best. Now you can all confirm what I said about succession management. She has just been continuing with that lesson that uh, even if we don't find space, the PSC, we will continue to serve. We are, we are very well prepared. Uh, Kenya is big and there is a lot of work for our citizens in different capacities. By Madam Alkwini and CS, thank you very much for those remarks. Allow me now to invite our incoming uh, CS. Yes. Uh, Madam Aisha, <laughs> you are going there. You are going there. That's my wish for you. Just as uh, she takes place, welcome Waziri to address the staff. I'm sitting. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Waziri. Uh, before we came here, we had. Um, they call a tet a tet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I have learned so many uh, things from Waziri. And I'm very grateful and glad to actually be closer to her today because I have been following her uh, on social media, on YouTube. When I was mentioned as the uh, CS for public service, I had to actually do my research and uh, one was on her. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned so many uh, things and I have picked, I, I picked to making sure that uh, I give it, I give it the best. And uh, with the team of, uh, with this team of men and women of competence, I think uh, this uh, ministry will continue to flourish. Then, uh, as usual. <laughs> so, <laughs> Professor Kobia, PhD, EGH, my colleague and outgoing cabinet secretary, on Dr. JP Kilimo, EGH, Chief Administrative Secretary, Principal Secretaries, Ms. Mary Kimonye, CBS, and Professor Colate A. Suda, CBS, Ministry officials present, members of the press, uh, good, morning. good morning. I am pleased to join you this morning to this ministerial handing over ceremony. At the onset, I wish to express my gratitude to His Excellency the President for appointing me as Cabinet Secretary for the Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action. It is indeed humbling and a great honor. Allow me to appreciate the outgoing Cabinet Secretary for her strong and this, I wanted this to be in bold, and indeed it is in bold. 
Um, allow me to appreciate the outgoing uh, cabinet secretary for her strong leadership and hard working during her tenure in this ministry. I look forward to continue her legacy and draw upon her wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, the ministry sits at the core of our national development, service delivery to the citizens, and on the other hand, gender and affirmative action are weighty and urgent issues that our nation must, fo must focus on are to attain all inclusive and transformative development, full aware of the enormity and importance of the assignment before me and the team I will be working with, as well as the high expectations of Kenya regarding the performance of this ministry. It is therefore important to note that we have no choice but to hit the ground running. I am encouraged to know that I will benefit from the work my predecessor, Professor Kobia, who has ably steered the ministry and delivered transformative programs to women, youth, and PWDs, especially under the affirmative action programs and spearheaded development of critical policies for public service management. Thank you, Waziri. Thank you, Madam CS. I wish you well in your future plans. CS Cobia has this morning given me a detailed brief of key priorities and achievements of the ministry. I will be guided by the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, built on this achievement on each of key areas of focus in the right jobs. Efficient Utilization of public resources, values, and principle as per Article 10, 232, and Chapter 6 of the Constitution. To continue to drive in bringing transformation in public service delivery agenda of the public service at both levels of government. On gender, I note that a lot has been achieved over the years in the areas of gender equality, women empowerment, especially representation in decision make, <coughs> making, breaking the silence on gender-based violence and economic empowerment. However, more are still remain to be done. One, priority will be given to women's economic empowerment, ending GBV, and implementation of the constitutional uh, to develop an affirmative policy and to support the, fi uh, the finalization of the process of merger of affirmative action funds into the proposed Biashara Bank. <coughs> and number nine, in implementing these kinds, inclusivity, engagement, and partnership with will remain key. As you know, the issues under gender ministry are cross-cutting. The Ministry of Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action is one of the enablers of this agenda. For all the other ministries to deliver on this agenda, the country requires a high, efficient, and result-based public service. So public service transformation will remain a key on focus for me in order to ensure service for intended purposes. Public servants embrace the right culture in delivery of services and creating an enabling environment for facilitation national for facilitating national development. Ladies and gentlemen. To succeed, I am full aware that I cannot do this alone. Each and every officer has a role to play. My role as a CS will be provide, will be provide the requisite leadership, direction, and environment to inspire and encourage high performance in the ministry and to build the requisite networks and partnership with our key stakeholders within and out governments.
I urge the head of department to build the heads of departments to build strong teams within their various departments and to adhere to a specific target expressed in the government's development agenda under the MTIP and the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. My vision and desire is to run a highly cohesive and citizen responsive ministry guided by the values and principles of governance and the various policies already in place. As I conclude, I wish to express special appreciation to the team at the Parliamentary Service Commission who supported me in delivering on the PSC mandate. I hope to bring from PSC useful insights in the management of the affairs of this ministry. Let me end by wishing all of, by wishing you all a good day and invite you to join me as we work to deliver services to our citizens. Finally, I would like to wish our outgoing cabinet secretary the very best for the future and God's blessing in the next chapter of her journey. May God bless you, Madam CS, and I wish you all the best in your new endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you very much. And uh, Madam Kobia, I want to assure you, with this great team, as I've said, of men and women of competence, uh, it is a really cool that uh, the, His Excellency the President has been uh, saying and for me, uh, if I quote a well his words, failing is not an option. I know you have brains, you have all it, what it takes uh, to actually help uh, me as the CS to making sure that things are flowing and everything is well done. And uh, from the introduction, Nini Kweli in the South. Thank you very much, Madam. Uh, one of the things you learned from Naya Scott, uh, we will refer to you as Madam. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. When we hear from Madam, Madam, that's when you just It is the public service. So our okay. next session is a very short one. Uh, Madam Waziri will be handing to you critical documents for reference purposes, after which you will be signing the certificate. So Madam Waziri will start with this part. That part contains the end of a report as we were going to prepare in the circular by the head of public service. It's a ministerial hand of a report. So if you both could to receive that part. This way, this way, this way, this way.